In this tutorial video I'd like to talk about Allegro, which is a great initial piano piece. Now this is a fairly fun one to play and it's quite easy as well. So our hands aren't moving at all with this piece, which is very very good because now we can just focus on what is the most important. Let's have a look at the tempo first. The tempo is 120 crotchet beats per minute and that means that we are going to play this at a fairly fast pace. But the notes are quite long notes, it's crotchets and it's minims in the left hand. So luckily for us it's not going to be that fast. The time signature is 2 crotchet beats per bar or 2, 4. So we need to count 1, 2, 1, 2. And because we are going to play quavers, it's best to try and count 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and and so on. Our hand positions are as follows. The right hand, the right hand is going to go not on middle C but on the C above. So we're going to find the C above middle C and we're going to place our thumb there. The left hand needs to go on middle C, the thumb on middle C. So we're going to have C position but instead of having C position with our right hand on middle C, we're going to have C position with our left hand on middle C. Once we've gotten into position, we are first just going to play the right hand. So let's have a look at the right hand first. Our right hand is going to go 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Line 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's the first section for the right hand. C, D, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, E, G, C, D, E, F, E, D, C. Now it's very important at some parts we can hear we are playing faster notes and that is for example in bar 2 where we have those quaver notes and this is where the 1 and 2 and counting comes in if we start from the beginning 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and we can see that for those quaver notes we need to play on each and every single count we do one and two and but for the crotchets we only do on the main beats the one and the two one and two and and for the minimum the minimum last two beats one and two and and then we start again the left hand for the first part is fairly fairly easy if we place our thumb again on middle c for the left hand we are going to play one and two and 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 so the left hand finger numbers are one one again one two two again one again, three, four, followed by one. Putting both our hands together, So we just need to remember that the left hand plays on the first beat on each one and the right hand is going to have a little bit more notes to think about but first practice them separately, know them quite well and then try to put them together looking closely at which notes go together. For the second part, the right hand again first we are going to play 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 
And this is very important because this is going to repeat. This is going to repeat three times. Five, four, four, three, two, one. Five, four, four, three, two, one. Five, four, four, three, two, one, four, three, three again, followed by two. And that's our second part for the right hand. G, F, F, E, D, C. G, F, F, E, D, C. G, F, F, E, D, C. F, E, D, D. The left hand, also very easy. We are going to alternate between the thumb and the second. Remember, thumb on middle C for the left hand, and we're going to play. First, the second finger this time. Two, followed by one. Two again. Followed by one. Two, followed by one. Now, a little bit faster. Two, one, four. Putting your hands together. So if we can play it once, we can just repeat it. But now, four and two together, one and three together, three and four together, followed by two, holding down that fourth finger at the end. But the piece is not over when we get to the end of this piece. It has a DC all fine sign at the end, which means da capo all fine. We have to go back to the beginning and play until fine or end. That means that we are going to have to repeat the first part again. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. And then the piece is done. Let's have a look at dynamics. We start forte. So nice and loud, make the melody heard. Continue forte. Now we have alternating sections between forte and piano. First one, forte. When we repeat, piano. Now forte. Forte and forte all the way to the to the end. And we lift. So practice first hand separately. Know your right hand and know your left hand quite well. Practice playing as fluent as possible before trying to put it hands together. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe and check out any other videos that might be useful. Thanks for watching.